The blockade of roads by the federal government and his allies has made the entry of medical supplies to Tigray impossible. As a result, many hospitals and drug shops run out of medications. Henceforth, lack of medication continues to put the lives of millions of Tigrans in dire need of medical assistance. Patients are suffering due to the 10 months long siege placed on Tigray, and many are losing their lives due to lack of medication and medical supplies. I'm suffering from kidney failure, hemorrhoid as well. I have been prescribed six items of medicines, of which I have got only two of them. I couldn't get the most important ones. I have been examined in Ider Comprehensive Specialized Hospital, the largest hospital in Tigray. However, I have been searching for the medicine the whole day across different pharmacies in Magala. Unfortunately, I couldn't get it. I came to the Ethiopian Red Cross drug shop hoping to get the medicine prescribed to me, but it is depleted here too. My mother is sick. I'm here to buy a medicine for her. However, I couldn't find it in any of the pharmacies, including in Ethiopian Red Cross drug shop. The patients and their family members called up on the international community to reach the millions of Tigrans in need of healthcare assistance as soon as possible. We pled to the international community to understand our problems and help us with medical supplies as thousands of Tigrans are dying due to the fatal siege. All concerned bodies must resolve the problem and help the patients who are suffering due to lack of medication on a daily basis. The international community must demonstrate its commitment for the due entry of medical supplies into Tigray. Newborns and children are in need of vaccines which are administered regularly. On top of this, there are also people with chronic illnesses who demand life-saving medicines. Abad Tsagai, pharmacy coordinator for the Ethiopian Red Cross Society, Magala Bryan says that such a situation is not merely complicating the physical illness of patients, but also leaving them psychological traumas. Moreover, he also added that health workers are also getting depressed if they fail to treat their patients due to the depletion of medical supplies. It's a bit hard to understand people's feeling in connection to lack of medical supplies. Many are dying in front of our eyes due to lack of medication. It's annoying indeed. The psychological problems that follow are worrisome as well. Brahanu Mokonen, executive director for the Ethiopian Red Cross Society in Tigray, added that drug shops under the organization have been forced to discontinue providing services due to the blockade on medical supplies and other essential items in Tigray. Pharmacies under the Ethiopian Red Cross Society are not fully functioning due to the siege. If things continue as it's going on, our drug shops may cease providing services soon. The World Health Organization has announced that there are close to 4 million people in Tigray in dire need of medical attention as the central government of Ethiopia maintains a blockade on all essential goods and services coming into Tigray, including medical supplies and food assistance.